Two weeks ago, I defeated Katie in the qualifying match of the Apocalypse Tournament. Enough said about that one. Last week, I destroyed Kevin just to get to him tonight so I can defeat him in the quarterfinal of the Apocalypse Tournament. Whoever I fight next in the semifinals, I'll just go right through them to advance to the finals of the Apocalypse Tournament. And then I will win the Apocalypse Tournament to go to Hellbound to fight whoever, it, whoever the champion is and become the WA champion. So, whoever the champion is at Hellbound, surrender or be destroyed. Example number one. I fought my own brother Q for the WAW Championship in January of 2004. Example number two. I fought for the WAW Team Championship in Legacy 06. Major Morpheus Morency, you're not stepping in my way of getting another WAW Championship title shot. So surrender or let's do this! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for the Apocalypse Tournament quarterfinal match between Kevin Chaos and Major Morpheus Morenzi. The music of our president, Miss Moody Star, is playing right now, and here comes the president. She is going to introduce our participants here into the Apocalypse quarterfinal matchup. So without further ado, let's take it down to the president for our introduction of our participants in tonight's main event. Now we are awaiting the arrival of Major Morpheus Morenci of the United States Army. The man has had a legendary and destructive WAW career. He has no WAW gold under his uh, repertoire for his stay in WAW, but the man is hungrier than he has ever been. He's gone after the WAW title before. He's gone after the team championship before, but never have I seen Major Morpheus Morenci more hungry to be champion than I have seen him be in recent months. You gotta consider Morenci to be one of the heavy favorites here in this tournament, but let's take it back down to the president. And his opponent from Oakland, California, representing Total Chaos, Kevin Chaos. Yeah! And now we await the arrival of Kevin Chaos, a member of Total Chaos. He is the younger brother of Q Chaos, a former WAW champion. Kevin Chaos has never held any gold in WAW. He debuted initially back in 2004 and had a two week stay with WAW before his neck was injured by his own brother Q. At the time, Q was going through some uh, rough patches I'd say in his life. Uh, he kicked puppies, blinded women with his bald head. He wasn't a nice guy. Q reformed his ways, reconciled with his brother, and here comes Kevin charging the ring. He charges after Major Morpheus Morenci. These two, oh, Kevin Chaos almost falling there, taking a swing at Major Morpheus Morenci. These two almost brawled earlier on here tonight as Major Morpheus Morenci was trying to help Mr. Psycho defeat Carnage, but Kevin Chaos came out to even up the odds. And Morenci kicking out, excuse me, Kevin Chaos kicking out Morenci's gear. And now we've got a lock up in the center of the ring. This Apocalypse Tournament quarterfinal matchup is underway. The winner of this contest will meet the winner of next week's Sin Epo quarterfinal contest. Both of these men are hungry. Both of these men want to advance in this tournament to move on to the semifinals to be one step closer to that championship opportunity that could come if you win that tournament. The winner of the Apocalypse Tournament, which will take place at Apocalypse, the finals will take place that night. The winner of that contest will move on to Hellbound to become number one contender for a chance at the WAW Championship in a match of their choosing. Now we've got a test of strength about to happen here in the center of the ring, and we get the hands locked, yes we do. And Major Morpheus Morenci using that power that he possesses to drive Kevin Chaos down hard. Chaos is in an awkward position, now being forced to work back up to his feet, and he does, reversing the fate of the test of strength into his favor. 
Renzi with a kick to the midsection. Oh, he's got Kevin Chaos up and Chaos. Monkey flips out of that predicament there. What a counter by Kevin Chaos. Oh, what a drop down there by Kevin Chaos, grabbing that arm and driving the leg to the back of the head. Dropping Major Morpheus Morenzi down now with a front face lock onto Morenzi. Major Morpheus Morenzi has done what, he is, what he's been able to to get under the skin of Kevin Chaos. Last week he came out and attacked Total Chaos, Kevin and Katie, after they defeated Mr. Psycho and Jacqueline Frost. And this week, who knows, they might have brawled a little bit backstage. We only saw Kevin running 385 miles an hour, chasing Major Morpheus Morenzi to the backstage area. If Kevin had gained his footing when he did, he might have ended out on Lake Avenue running through the uh, brick wall. And we got a fall away slam there by Major Morpheus Morenzi onto Kevin Chaos. Let's do this! Let's do this! We got a cover, we got a count, we only get two. I've just been handed a note, ladies and gentlemen, that freaking Flax and Rocco will be heading out to the ring after this contest is over. They've got a few things to say, apparently. I guess Flax has arranged for this to happen. And there's been some odd, odd things happening with Asylum in these past couple of weeks. Last week, the Jersey Devil reverted to payback jersey. Their medication seems to have, they, I don't know if they've fallen off the medication, if it's being switched, what's going on. Last week, the Jersey Devil was payback jersey, and this week, Rocco is seemingly reverted to Halloween Rocco. When Rocco was orange and black, all about the Halloween, he's still all about the Halloween, but he doesn't sport the orange and black anymore, but he had Trick, he had Halloween, he was in orange and black, he decked blacks and then said, come with me. So I guess after this contest is over, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna see how this, this uh, situation with Rocco progresses. And now we've got ourselves an Indian death block as we get back to calling the action here in the ring. Gotta love when our production assistants bring you a note right in the middle of uh, calling the action here in the ring. Totally distracting the train of thought. But Major Morpheus Morenzi has that Indian death lock locked in hard, but he's pulling on the ropes. Come on, ref. He's got leverage there. Mass referee finally noticing, and Moody Star seeing it. Kevin Chaos now trying with all of his might to make it to the ropes, and he does. Morenzi was hanging on to the ropes again. Kevin Chaos might have suffered a knee injury there. He is clenching that knee right off the Indian death block. And Moretz is going right back to it, but he's got small package. Two, and we only get two. Only a two count there. There you see our president, Miss Moody Star, watching at ringside to make sure there is no underhanded acts that take place. Oh, drop kick to the knees. Moody Star says she will be at ringside for every single tournament match to make sure that there is no underhanded trickery taking place in these tournament matches. Major Morpheus Morenzi chop blocking out the legs of Kevin Chaos, really going to work on that knee, that left knee of Kevin Chaos, which was damaged by the Indian death block and continues to be damaged as this match wears on by the Major Morpheus Morenzi. Kevin Chaos trying for a close line. He gets taken down by Major Morpheus Morenzi. We got a cover of two, and we only get two as Kevin kicks out. Morenzi arguing the call there with the mass referee. Kevin now trying to get up to his feet. He gets caught. Dollhouse go into a bulldog. I thought Kevin Chaos was about to be Dollhouse there by Morenzi. Instead, he reversed it into a bulldog. Miss Moody Star there shown once again looking on at the action. She seems to be impressed by the competitiveness of both men here. Who will be the first man to get up to their feet? Kevin's got a little bit of a bum wheel now. 
And they got punches here. Both men trading punches back and forth. Going at each other. Kevin Chaos taking the advantage. Sending Marinci off the ropes. Oh, what a close line there. Kevin called for Marinci to get up. Drop kick takes him down. Come on. Drop kick and come on. One more. Kevin called for one more. And again sends Marinci right into the corner. Two drop kicks there by Kevin Chaos. Chaos now charges. Splash into the corner. Chaos splash. Coming out of the corner. Leg drop to the back of the head. Driving Marinci right down into the canvas. Chaos now going for the cover. We got one. We got two. Oh, we almost had three as Marinci gets that shoulder up. Chaos now looks like he's going to go for the Chaos Theory. He's got the arms hooked. He's going for it for Marinci, fighting it off. And back body drops Kevin Chaos right over the top. Marinci on one side, Chaos on the other. Chaos ducks a clothesline, catches Marinci, power slam takeover. We got a cover. We got a count. Oh, we only get two. Chaos calling for it to be over. Let's do this. He's got the arms hooked. He's called for it. Chaos effect. Wait a second. Brentsy falls on top of him. We got a cover. Two and three. What the hell just happened? Kevin Chaos seemed to have the match won. He had the Chaos Theory set up. And then he just fell over. And he is out. Here comes Katie Doobie rushing to the ring to aid her fallen total chaos comrade. She's asking Marinci, what the hell did you do? I don't know what the hell is going on here, ladies and gentlemen. But regardless of what just happened, Major Morpheus Marinci has defeated Kevin Chaos and thus advances to the semifinals of the Apocalypse Tournament and he will meet the winner of next week's Sin and Echo match. But I understand right now that our cameras are backstage on Christian Sane, Mr. Psycho, and Jacqueline Frost, the kindred who have been watching this match. So let's head backstage with them. Uh, there are our cameras. Let's see what's going on.